What's up guys, this is your boy RG Medal. I got another Wi-Fi and new battle for you today. That's right, and I got a new layout thanks to my boy the Justin he made it for me. It's much obliged. And look at those sexy Feroz in the back. If y'all don't know, Feroz my favorite Pokemon. But anyway, I'm sorry for the white background behind the pokes. Um I don't I have no idea how to get rid of the white background from the pictures with uh Microsoft Paint. Um but I do know how to do it with Photoshop and Adobe products, so when I get access to the to like stuff like Photoshop, I will take out the white background. That way, you can see the full layout to its fullest. So once again, India, I'll apologize for that right then and there. But anyway, um, I'm using my Sun team. You know, it's good. It pretty much the Moon gets to shut down on his team. The Stunfist doesn't want to take a Blizzard from a Rotom Frost. That's right, I replaced Lantern from Rotom Frost. Um, obviously. The Sock and the Zangus are going to be big problems to anything other than really my Weezing who could Destiny Bond. And my Armaldo can just spin away any form of rocks he wants to do to me. Uh, so, overall, I think I got this game. But anyway, I'm going to lead off with my Bell Awesome as he decides to lead off with his Stun Fist, which is perfectly fine by me. Because I know I'll outspeed and I can just go straight for the Sleep Powder. Unfortunately for me, I, he, I missed the Sleep Powder, which allows him to get up to Stealth Fox, which is not what I wanted to happen. In fact, I hate Stealth Fox on this team. Rotom Frost doesn't want to take it. Chowdot doesn't want to take it. Rapid Ass doesn't want to take it. Armado does not want to take it. The only thing on my team that really wants to take it is my Belossum or my Weezing. Anyway, he's going to switch out. Go out into his Zangoose as I decide, you know, I'm just going to set up the Sunny Day on the Switch just in case he decides to get, like, just in case he decides to predict something. Uh, like, for instance, me switching out into Armado to set up my own rocks or whatever. You know, it's just in case the war turtle want to come in basically but anyway i'm gonna switch out go into my wheezing knowing that you know i could probably i can definitely take this hit but it did a lot more damage than i thought it would um i still figured it would probably be a two shot and i don't really need wheezing this game but still anyway he's gonna hit me with the second facade knock out my wheezing which is perfectly fine because in all honesty i just needed a free switch into my rotom frost who could easily get in there revenge kill with the thunderbolt and I figured he's going to want to keep Zangus in, considering I am a Rotom Frost, and I could easily go for the Blizzard, and he does not want the Moongus or the Stumpfist taking that Blizzard. So, like I said, he stayed in, and the uh, Zangus is now gone. Anyway, he sent in the Sock. I'm going to go straight for the Thunderbolt, just because I need to break its 30, considering I do not use any form of hazards on this team as he goes for the stone edge and he misses which is just beautiful because that makes up for that sleep powder miss in the beginning of the game so he's going to switch out now knowing that he's going to need his sock pretty much to take out this um my rotom frost my chatot and my rapid dash so i'm, I'm going to switch out now knowing that you know, I can't really touch the Stun Fisk, obviously, since I'm choice locked into the Thunderbolt. Go on to my Armodo, thinking that this is a perfect opportunity to spin away those rocks, and knowing that this thing really can't touch me, to be honest. Alright, like I said, I'm going to go for that Rapid Spin. Unfortunately, his, stat, his ability in the form of Static does activate and paralyzes my Armodo, but at the same time, my Armodo is slow, so, you know, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. So, after, this, after the Leftovers goes, I'm thinking, you know what? I could stay in or I could switch out. Either way, it won't really matter because he is asleep. But he decides to switch out into his Rotom Frost as I decided. You know, I'm going to switch out into my Chatot. Just because if he woke up, you know, it's such a Stealth Frost and I can encore him into that. But this is a very bad matchup for obvious reasons. So I'm going to switch out into my Selena figuring, you know what? He might miss. He might go for the Electric Attack. And if he does, I should be able to take that very nicely. Unfortunately, he ends up going for the Blizzard. But, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter because I don't want my Rapidash going in on the Blizzard either since Rapidash has low defenses. So, at this point, my Belossum has to go down. But Belossum did its job. It put things to sleep. And it, it, it's a trooper. It's a trooper. You know, I'm going to send out my Armaldo now. Knowing that I can take one Blizzard and hit him with Stone Edge. However, he misses the Blizzard, which really sucks because I'm able to hit the Stone Edge and knock out that Rona Frost. So the second biggest threat on his team is gone. And he only has one other threat on this team in the form of Sock. And Sock's always a threat. But the Sock is ha at half health, so his 30 is broken, which makes it easier to kill him. Considering all I have to do is send him out Rona Frost and Thunderbolt. Now, he's going to go for the Hidden Power. I don't have no idea what Hidden Power that is. I'm guessing Hidden Power Ice. And it does absolutely nothing to my Armaldo. Because of this, and I am an offensive Armaldo, I figured, you know, I'm just going to Earthquake the crap out of this guy. Or x Scissor this guy. And I end up choosing x Scissor as he decides to send in a Stun Fisk. And Stun Fisk is taking a pretty decent amount of damage from that. 
Um, but once again, Stumpfist is a trooper, so you know he's taking that pretty nicely at the same time. Now he's gonna. And I decide, you know what? I'm I'm just gonna stay in. I'm I'm just gonna stay in and go for the scissors over and over again. Freaking, he's asleep. I got nothing to lose. If he goes for the stealth rocks, I can rapid spin that away. If he goes for an attack, I can definitely survive it, especially since he happens to be defensive. But anyway, at this point in time, I figure, you know what, let me switch out. I'm going to go out into my Rotom uh, Frost, just in case he wants to go for the Earth Power or the Stealth Rocks. And at this point of, at this point of health that the Stumpfist is at, I can easily go for the Blizzard, knock it out, no problem. And as you will see here, this Blizzard does just that as the Stumpfist HP goes down all the way to zero. So this is looking very good on, for me. All he has really is a Sock a war turtle and an amoongus left now i could have stayed in and went for the blizzard however i know that this rodent frost is my only way of taking out that sock so i didn't want to um i didn't want to uh risk the blizzard missing now i figured my model would have went down but <laughs> shockingly it survived it um, so, you know, that's always nice, but at the same time, since I am socking the arm, although it should go down, but he misses the stone edge, and I'm able to hit the sock with an earthquake, so that's very unfortunate. Not only did he miss the stone edge earlier, he missed two stone edges this game, and a blizzard, so, you know, that really sucks, and I'm sorry that that's just the way the game went. Anyway, he's going to end up sending out Arm uh, Wartel at this point, and Armaldo did his job. He spun away the rocks, took out some big threats, and at this point, I don't really need any more, considering all I have to do is send in my Rotom Frost and go for the T-Bolts. Now, obviously, he's going to stay in, since Wartel can definitely survive one T-Bolt, thanks to the EBO light, but at the same time, he can't take me out. So he's going to go for the Yawn. No problem. All he has left is Amoongus, and I still got Rapidash waiting to just take out this Amoongus. So I'm going to let my Ronin Frost go to sleep at, at the cost of his War Turtle, which is very, very beautiful. Because once again, all he has left is an Amoongus against the Chatot, uh, Rapidash, and a Ronin Frost. And my Chatot does happen to carry the Heat Wave, so this is very, very nice. So I'm going to switch out, go into my Chatot now, and it's pretty much a good game at this point, no matter what he wants to do. He goes for the HP Ice whatever it doesn't really matter it was either he was going to go for the gigger and hp ice he decides to go for the hp ice once again doesn't matter as i'm just going to go for the heat wave thinking that this might ko if he's more physically defensive but um it doesn't ko brings him down to a very small amount of hp but once again it does not matter considering all i have to do is send a rapid dash to flare blitz and that will be the good game so um i don't know if my opponent has a channel guys so i'm not going to leave that link in the description in fact i don't even remember his name it was like rl something uh, thanks, Indy, for this awesome, awesome layout. I love Firo. I love how you incorporated it. Um, once again, I apologize for the white background behind the pokes. I I'll fix it as soon as I can. Um, and tell me if you guys like this team. Am I making an official team? Anyway, I'm RG Medell, and I will see y'all later.